right? I understand I'm not terminal, but I still think that I should be able to make a wish. It's stage four. Come on. You're not gonna hook me up? What about that one little bastard? He gotta make a wish and he made it. Just because I'm not terminal doesn't mean I can Oh, I gotta call you back, guys. Hey, fellas. Hey. 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 How's it going? We need the same uh, as yeah, same as yesterday when you were what? annoying. Uh, now. Oh, now. Yeah, we. I just came from uh, came from the doctor. Yeah, we got an MRI. We know. We we saw. We got yeah. the tweets. Yeah, we yeah. saw it on Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. I liked it. Yeah. Saw it on Vine. Yeah. Checked in. Somebody put on Google Plus actually. I had to turn my phone off. Twitter, Facebook, Vine. I can't follow it anymore. I had to unfollow him. I deleted you as a friend, y'all. I've given money to you. I don't know what else you want from me. Facebook is not for telling us about your cancer. Facebook is for posting photos of what you're going to eat. Facebook is for posting pictures of your kid, even though we all know what kids look like. And poking people. Facebook is for poking people. It just doesn't end. It's always something or another. You know, like I'm having some stuff going on in my own life and shit, and then like he says with these alerts that pop up and stuff at, in between meetings and stuff, I'm like... Oh, hopefully it's something about Mandela being dead or whatever. I want to read about it, and and it's not. It's oh, it's Web with, you know, whatever the goiter thing. I'm like, I don't care anymore, man. It doesn't. It doesn't affect us unless it's on the social media, and and that's where we're like, we're done, man. So unless we're just doing like the old phone call or face to face, I got no more chips because it's like. I'm at the casino, Webb's there, and then I'm bumming money off him the rest of the time, I feel like. So it's like, whatever, man. And then don't get me started on Sundays. Oh, I can't meet, I gotta go. Whoa, whoa, leave Sundays out of this. You, you alright, fella? No. It's bad enough for Browns fans. Sean, this is an intervention. This cancer thing, it's gotten way out of hand. We're just done. You've got to stop. You're a complete ass. We can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. An intervention for my cancer? Really? That's the most ridiculous goddamn thing I've ever heard. I have cancer. It's cancer. It's doctor's appointments and, and, and weird minorities touching me in funny places. It's a lot of things, okay? The drugs are good, that's, I will admit. But hey, listen, there's a lot of, a lot of bad stuff. I don't think... Are you done, Dad? Is that all you got? Uh, yeah. Good. Then we can get this started. Tyler, why don't you begin? Sean, uh, I feel slightly responsible for this whole mess. Uh, I feel like one of my worst jokes gave you cancer. Uh, I remember it was, uh, it was in July, or it was the early summer, it was uh, at a Longstreet's open mic, and I was trying to I was trying out a new premise, and uh, it was about, I don't even remember what it was about at this point, but you just, your reaction was, you just looked at me disappointed, and you just went, ah, and I knew it was at that moment that that was when the cancer had entered your body. Way to go, jerk. Yeah, yeah that's me. You were, you were, you were, just give me up, you know what I mean? Don't hurt yourself, man. Don't hurt yourself. It's not worth it. Take it easy, Warzel. You get cancer doing that shit. Ugh! There you go again! He's doing it again! He's doing it again! Hey, calm down. In person! Sit back. Sit back. Sean, I have some things to say to you now. I wrote it on my phone. Sean? When I first moved to Wilmington, all I heard was, you are the younger Sean Webb. And now it is difficult to live in your shadow. I just, I just feel like this is bigger than all of us, man. It's just, it's too much. Like, when we first started this, all we wanted to do was give you hope. Now we just hope you stay off Facebook for a day or two, man. Alright? So just, just cut it out. Unplug the computer. Spend some time with your family and friends. And just stop it. Just stop it all, man. Pussy. See what you're doing? You like making Drew cry? Do you see what this is doing? We were in a drive through at Taco Bell, and you literally said to the person, I want a free Baja Mountain Dew because I have cancer. There's no cancer coupon, Sean!
Okay? It doesn't mean free Taco Bell! A am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is it just, am I crazy? Pay for your Taco Bell, Sean! J just pay for it! Everyone else does it, alright? That's more my Jewishness than my cancer. That was good, Phelps. Lay it all on the table. Can I go now? You may proceed, Michael. You know, Sean, before you got cancer, uh, we used to spend time together. We used to hang out like friends. You know, we used to grab lunch on a day off. Uh, we used to work on comedy together. Uh, we used to hang out. We used to, you know, talk and have real conversations. Now all the conversations are just about you and your cancer. It's, well, I got cancer this, and I'd go to the doctor this, and I got can, And it's bad enough that it's on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus, and I mean, all these dumb websites where I'm trying to find out what my friend's baby's sleeping schedules are like, and you're, oh, I got cancer, I got cancer, like it's a serious thing, like this is going to take over your life or something. I don't know what's going on, I mean, I understand that now that you have cancer, it's important and you want to live your life, but I mean, you're taking it too far, you're, did anybody else notice that you're sagging your pants now? You're sagging your pants. I don't know when getting cancer made you like all rough rider and like, rrr, rrr. but I mean, even Eminem's wearing mediums now, so get your shit together. Alright? I understand that you have cancer, but it's just like some extra weight, man. Just drop it. It just takes some effort. You know? Leave it at the gas station like a kid that you don't want, like my parents tried to do with me when I was, I was younger. Leave it at the, at the mailbox when you go out and get the mail. I don't know. Leave it under your pillow. Maybe there's a fucking cancer fairy that'll come pick it up. But all I know is that we don't have a friendship, we don't have a relationship, and it's all because of your cancer. I always used to wish really bad things upon you when you wouldn't return my phone calls or when you would borrow money from me. But I never wished cancer upon you. And now I actually, because you have cancer and all you talk about, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm, I'm almost glad that you have it, but I'm not. Because I want you to spend time... You don't even ask me. Maybe I got laid, Sean. Maybe something good happened in my life. Maybe I got some chlamydia or something. You don't know. You don't ask. I just miss the old Sean. I got all the Percocets now, so... I mean, how much shit are you going to talk here on my couch? At the end of the day, I still got cancer. I get it. You know, you're trying to self-market cancer or whatever. Self-market yourself as a vehicle through cancer? Or whatever you're self-marketing and cross-functional marketing and social media marketing with, like, an under kind of P&L responsibility of, like, you know, a, a financial fiscal... It's highly technical, Sean. I don't want to get into it. Just listen. You're you're completely utilizing your time in a in a manner that, as a career coach, I find preposterous, inconceivable. Uh, give, give me another big word. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's okay, Dad. I still love you. Aww. You see, this is love. At least I have one son that loves me and supports me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get Sundays. Uh, you guys can suck a fat one because I have all the cancer money in my pocket. Peace out. You like my jeans. They're cool, Dad. Yeah, damn right they are. All right, I'm thinking about you.